Hey guys, it's Shasana and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, then welcome. Today I'm going to be testing out the new photo focus line from Wet n Wild and I must say I am in love and also they are cruelty and vegan free so that is awesome and today I'm wearing this love and finance shirt and if you guys love my shirt then I will leave in the description box on how to purchase this shirt it says love and finance and all of you power couples go out and get you one they come in white and black even if you're not in a relationship this is still a nice shirt. I will leave the information in the description box on how to purchase one. And let's get into the video. Bye guys. So I'm going to start off by taking the medium tawny concealer. And I'm going to be priming my eyes. Then to set it, I'm going to take my Sasha Buttercup powder. I'm going to be going in with the AU Natural Palette. And I'm going to be taking this shade in my crease. And I'm taking this brush from uh, Wet n Wild. I got these a while ago, so these are not new. But yeah, most of the brushes I'm using today are from Wet n Wild. I'm just going to be buffing this in. The circle of motions on the outer corner. And back and forth motion. Then taking the shade here on the end with a flat uh, shader brush. I'm putting that on my brow bone. Time to go back in and make sure that's blended out. Then I'm going to be taking this gold shade right here. I sprayed it so I could get more pigment and then I'm just gonna pat that on these shadows are pretty pigmented so far I do find myself having to pick up a lot of product though still nice it does work better when you spray it though. Then I'm going to be taking the, um, those little brushes that come in the palette um, and taking the black shade. I'm going to deepen up my outer V area. Oh, this, this black is very thin too. Then I'm going to take that blending brush I'm taking this um, little pencil brush with that black again to make it more precise we're just gonna go into that crease but not all the way I'm stopping it in the middle of my crease. With that blending brush, just lightly blending it in. I'm just taking this, I think this is like a large shadow brush. I'm going to be using that to keep blending that black in. Take this um, Wet n Wild On Edge Long Wear Eye Pencil. It's called Wooden You Know. And instead of taking a black liner to make it super harsh, I'm going to be taking this dark brown liner. I'm just making a small, simple liner. And you can blend it into that black that we put over there. And then just smudge it in. Get 
And I just took this on a V, leaving a little bit of gold peeking through still. And just make sure you go on the sides and clean it up. So you can have a sharp look. And I got the foundation in cocoa. Let me open it like this. And on the back, it does tell you that it has been tested under seven light conditions um, with top smartphone models and with and without flash. So it's supposed to give you a nice um, finish. And you can, this is the type of foundation they're claiming that you could go clubbing in and take all those pictures. <laughs> and it has a wand. I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand. And this is good though. Like, the wand, you do get a lot of product out. And it smells like pink. Not like, oh my God, I can't handle it, but I can tell it smells like pink. And I'm gonna be taking this flat top brush and um, I just took about this much. So we'll see how much that does. And I've heard that people had to work really fast with this. So I'm not gonna just spread it all around my face. I'm gonna work in sections. Well, wow, I can finish. Don't ever let anybody tell you drugstore makeup isn't bomb. I hope the shade is looking good. I hope it's matching well. I think it is. It's looking good on my camera. And I do need a little bit more do one more swipe so I did about three swipes on my hand I'm just going to take my um, concealer and cocoa as well and just go over this pimple and stuff just because I forgot to color correct I'm gonna lightly tap it in I'm just gonna go over it a little bit I got two concealers. This one is Cocoa, this is closer to my shade. And this one is Medium Tawny, um, because I do want, still want that highlight. This doesn't really smell like paint. If you guys could see, this is the exact shade, but I just want to make sure I mix this in well together. And I like the way this formula is feeling. The foundation it feels really lightweight. And this concealer just feels, it feels kind of heavy because it's more like creamy. I like it. It seems like it'll be like a great coverage. And now I'm gonna take medium tawny. Yeah, because you see how light this would have been? This would have been too light. So this just gives it a great blend. And this has that dome applicator. I'm gonna spray it with my Mario Badescu, my beauty blender. Now I'm gonna be taking my Sasha Buttercup powder. I'm gonna be pressing this into my skin. And the contour shades look like it would be like my exact same shade. So I was like, what is the point of even trying it? So um, now I'm just going to be setting my face. And this is the Wet n Wild um, pressed powder. And I think all these packagings are so nice. Like, this has the same claims as the foundation does. So I also got the shade Coco. And I'm just gonna take this on the flat top brush from e.l.f. Powder brush. And I'm just gonna press this into my skin.
so I'm pressing it so I'm making sure my foundation won't move. This is the only um thing that I've tried so far. I've been trying this for like a week and I love the powder. So everything else I did not try. But the powder is great. Then I'm gonna be taking my CoverGirl Queen Collection uh, bronzer and ebony bronze. Then going in my JLB Contour Palette, I'm just going to be taking this shade here. I'm also going to be taking it on the sides of my nose to clean it up a little. I'm taking the Sasha Buttercup powder and then immediately brush it away. And I'm going to be brushing away with the uh, cocoa powder. Cocoa powder. Or the pressed powder. The setting powder that we set the under eye with. I'm give myself a spray. I like love this stuff. I like drench myself in it all throughout the day. I could just be walking by. I also have this liner from Wet n Wild. And I'm just going to deepen up that brown we put there. Not too much. Just a teeny, teeny bit of it. So I got the gel lip liner and Gone Burgundy. And then I got um, the liquid catsuit matte lipstick. And this is in Missy and Fierce. Uh, this lip liner like glides on. I'm taking Missy and Fierce. I'm just gonna be setting my face. Now I'm taking this gorgeous highlight. This is Precious Petals. Now I'm taking my Elf Fan Brush. Stop, stop, stop. Wow. Just look at it. I'm already feeling myself and only got one cheek. Done. Whoa! Makes you want to sing. This highlight is so bomb. Then I'm gonna be taking that same highlight and with a little pencil brush, just pop it in my inner tear duct. Then I'm taking my Maybelline Sensational Mascara. I hope you guys enjoy, and until next time.